Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Night of the Raven. And okay, before I begin, I should just say sorry to um, all my subscribers uh, because I was just a second because I was saying I would promise to make a new video uh, a day ago. Well, I should say two days ago. But I didn't get around to doing so because uh, I've got assignments at school and you know all of that uh, normal stuff. So I couldn't really start ma doing this, um, making new videos. Sorry. So sorry about that. But now uh, I can. So let's continue. Uh, I think that's loud. One second, I need to turn down the volume. Okay, uh, I don't think you can hear anything now, but anyways, I did that so the harpies wouldn't annoy me to hell with their little screech and anything. But anyways, our target goal is that little cave over there with a hole in it. And it's not like a cave. But anyways, let's just kill these. Okay, I'm getting really scared, so I'm going to skip this part because you don't want to see me fight at all. So yeah, anyways, I'll save here. Uh, there we go. And I'll reload again. Okay, so... I'm pretty much here, the rock, I mean the hole in the rock, or whatever it is. Anyways, let's see, ring, digger meat, oh yes, yes, this is one of the two magic items, the magic crossbow. Now this crossbow is ridiculously powerful at around 200 strength, I mean not strength, damage. But you're only limited to around 13 of these quarrels. So only use it for an, a dragon, for example, or something tough, for example. But, anyways, let's see. We now need to. What's it called? Summon Quahodron. Oh dear, that's scary. Oh. Oh dear. Let's see. The guardians of the dead. The abilities of a guardian of the dead would have allowed you to work in me, that is true. If you are truly the one who claimed to be, you will be able to answer all of my questions. Except. The 
That should be the warrior cast. The warrior cast. Who can give me a direct order? Um, that's a tough one. I have to go with the priest. The priests. Oh yeah. The warrior cast. The warrior cast. Who has the final word? That's easy. That's the scholars. The scholars. Who alleviates suffering and attends to the ill? Who on earth could that possibly be? The healers. Who share the body to guard the world from evil? I seriously wish I knew that, but I don't. I don't know. Listen here. A truly evil fellow has gained access to the Temple of Atmos. If you don't let me into the temple right now, it will probably be too late and everything will go down the drain. That cannot be. The height is coming on an eye, but the only ones that shall get down who know how to open the gate of Atmos' temple. Well, then your pal Cardamon must have blown up. I'm telling you the gate was open. I saw it myself. I should hope so. Take them the password. It is written on this stone tablet. Speak the words at the sealed gate of the temple, and it will open. My time is done. Yes, I can no longer help you. But remember, beware the chambers of other gods. Else your death. Wait, what about the chambers? My strength is failing. Farewell. We shall meet again in the realm of the dead. It's funny because he doesn't actually disappear for quite a while. Never mind. I lied. Well, at least I thought that's what happens, like. But the last time I played this, that's what happened. He he just stayed there for like five minutes. And then I tried to talk to him, and he just disappeared. And that really, really loud shrieking noise is very scary. Now, uh, what should I do now? I, I'm not really sure. Never mind. I don't need that. I've done that. Okay, I need to go to Saturus. So, um, yeah. See you later. I'm going to talk to Saturus now. Hey. The problem with the temple gate is solved. Has the spirit spoken? Yes, he has. Then you know how to get into the temple. Correct. And he also told me what is in the temple. He spoke of a mighty sword and the chambers of Adonis. By Adonis, what fools we are. How could we have been so naive? The ends of the records. The sword can only be the We must get to those chambers as soon as possible and take possession of the weapon. What is the Claw of Belial? It is the incarnation of evil. Belyar himself created it. Whoever bears it possesses a terrible tool of destruction. The more powerful the bearer is, the mightier the power of the claw. Only someone who is strong of spirit and steadfast in his faith can withstand its spell. Now it is clear to me why the builders sealed off this valley. They brought this weapon of evil into their city and fell under its power. These arrogant fools destroyed one another out of greed. The cruelty knew no end until Adonis's wrath swept across the land and sank everything into the sea. Indeed, the creators of the portal did well to hide these things from the rest of the world. And what a tragic end for such a wonderful culture. Do you realize the urgency of our mission now? 
Raven is a strong fighter and is blinded by his lust for power. In his hand, the claw will be an instrument of destruction. He must not get the weapon, or we shall all be lost. What are the chambers of Atmos? We now know that the entrance is not the only obstacle that prevents us from entering the depths of the temple. In the temple itself, there are three chambers which are meant to deter all intruders. The colored relics of the builders are the key. Only if we gather all the relics and solve the riddles will we enter the inner sanctum of the temple. I don't know whether Raven was able to decipher the riddles of the temple, but if that is the case, we have a big problem. May Adonis protect you. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop here because I'm already at 11 minutes and I'm talking really fast to stop. Yeah, anyways. See you later tomorrow, guys.